Hello and welcome to the channel Let Us All About WordPress. Today we will learn how WooCommerce multi step checkout plugin works within the WooCommerce based website. Well, before that, let me tell you something about this plugin. As you can see in the description, it says create a better user experience by splitting the checkout process in several steps. This will also improve your conversion rate. So let's set up this uh, uh, plugin and we'll see how it is going to reflect uh, in the front end in the checkout page. So let's go to the admin end. So from here, we will go to the plugin section and from here, we'll go to admin section. Now, in this section, the search plugins, we will provide the plugin name and it will search accordingly. As you can see, um, this plugin is showing who comments will test step checkout and for me it is showing the activate button because I have already uh, installed this plugin. For you, it will show the install now button because you are going to install it for the first time. So before uh, activating or installing the plugin, let's, uh, let me show you how checkout page looks currently in the front end. So if we go to the front end page, Now in the settings page, as you can see, there are multiple options available. Some of the options are uh, like hidden because they are available for the pro version. You can select the option accordingly and uh, you can save it. So currently uh, I am saving it as it is with the functionality it is provided with some save changes. Now after saving the changes, we'll go to the design section. In the design section, you can see there is a main color that it is it is showing that you can change the color in the front end of the page. Now we'll go to the next tab that is text on steps and button. Now here you can provide the uh, uh, name or uh, update the name accordingly as well as the comment. Like for the steps that are mentioned here. So currently we'll leave them as it is. We'll click on the save changes. Now we'll go to the uh, front end to the checkout page and we'll see how it is going to reflect. So now, so now you can see this is the current layout of the checkout page after activating that plugin. You can see the multiple steps is can be followed for implementing the function for achieving this checkout process. So you can go to the next page after providing the required fields. Then here um, the shipping address because I have set the billing and shipping to be same. So it's only showing the uh, the order mode section. Then we can go to the next page. You can see the order review page. And then you can get the payment section one. So this is a very nice uh, layout that this plugin provides and you can implement it very easily as you can see in this tutorial. So that's all. Uh, this is how you can implement the multi-step step-by-step functionality for the checkout with the help of this plugin. Thank you.